in this video, I'm going to try to convince you of the importance of strings. Before you start knowing what the importance is of a string, you need to know what a string actually is. A string is like a sequence of letters or numbers or whatever. So it could be like a sentence like, hello, I am awesome today, or hello, or H, or T, or whatever. Uh, anything, basically a word with numbers, whatever, is a string. So you see in the first line, it says app name, that's the, like the name of the string, and then it says tutorials. Tutorials is a string itself. See, it's got capital letters and lowercase letters and all that stuff. That's the string right there. That's very useful to know. Using my quiz app, there's not much to it. Just three little questions. You can see question one. It says, what is your favorite color? Um, then there's a submit button and a next question button. Again, the next screen has to submit, next question button. They all have a submit, next question button. They all say question three or question two or question one at the top, depending on what question it is. A importance of strings would be um, usability. And I'm about ready to show you what that looks like in the code. Now you can see I did change the text of the buttons here. Uh, but it's still using the same string. What I mean by that is in the XML editor, you can see both my buttons are using an at string resource, the submit button is using the submit string, and the next question button is using next question. But notice the top one doesn't say submit, and the bottom one does not say next question. It says submit your answer by pressing the button. And this one says, click here to go to the next awesome question. That's supposed to say, click here to go to the next awesome question. This is supposed to say, submit your answer by pressing the button. Also, you can see on question two, it's the same thing. They're all the same. So, what does that mean? How is that useful? That means if, let's say, as it is right now, you can see that there's a lot of misspellings. Instead of me having to go down to every single one of these files, and edit the text here because like if I take this away and just have submit it will just say submit but I have to keep typing that every time I want to say submit or blah 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 whatever else so you know it's preferable to do that string so you don't have to type out the entire uh, string that you'd want to use you just type out submit or whatever your keyword is in my case it's submit and submit means submit your answer by pressing the button. But as you know, as you can see, I did do some misspellings here. So if we go over to the string file and we find the submit button, you can see submit your answer by pressing die button. This should say submit your answer by pressing the button there. So now we can go to any of these and all of these and see that they are now all correct and they all are spelt right. And I only had to change one thing in the string one thing not all of them I know it doesn't seem like much okay you change it three times instead of once what happens when I have 50 quiz items that's gonna be a problem you can see here this one this is also spelled wrong so I can just quickly change that and I can change that to two I could even change this to a whole another idea like go to the next question and you can see they all have changed that's very very useful because you know I don't have to go change it in here every time because you know, like I said before, if I take out the at string resource and just say like the word next questions, plural, then it's only going to change it on that one. But now all these other ones would have to be changed also, which, you know, it's not ideal. Probably don't want to do that unless, I mean, if you really like to type, you can, but your application will suffer from speed because now it has so much more words than it did before because now it'll have you know that entire sentence in each file instead of just once. Another reason to use strings is for translations. As you can see here I can edit the translations. So let's say I want to translate my app into Spanish. Instead of having to translate every single word that I've used in here every single time, I can just go into strings and using the editor, which I'm not going to do now, I can change it all into Spanish words which will make it extremely easy to translate it to any language. Also, usually when you're in a business, you're not the only one who looks at your code. So there could be a lot of other people 
or even people who don't know code at all. And, you know, they're going to be puzzled by what is going on here. But if all you are give them is just a string file where they can edit and add whatever they want in here, it's much easier for them because all they have to see is string name and what they want it to be. They say, this is bad grammar. They can fix it for you real quick, give it back to you, and there you go. Instead of having to change it in every single bit, have them analyze it, and they might have to learn code themselves. It's not just those reasons, but there's also many others. But those are the highlights of why I would use it over typing out and hard coding it, as it's called. And keep in mind, hard coding by just not adding the add string resource and putting it right in here will throw not an exception or an error or anything, but it will cause a warning, which those warnings can stack up and get really annoying. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot today and have a nice day.